The scientific community considers marine protected areas, or MPAs, as absolutely essential to the survival of the sea. The advance of the lionfish as an invasive species brings this into sharp focus. One place in the Caribbean has been tuned in to MPAs for a long time. Boasting coral reefs, which NOAA has declared perhaps the most pristine in the Caribbean, Bonaire has a lot to lose. Their standing as a premier dive destination in the Caribbean didn't happen by accident. They have always been at the forefront of thoughtful management of their marine resource. For example, spear guns have been outlawed for about 50 years here. In order to address the threat of the lionfish invasion, that had to be changed, and it was changed by legislation. Bonaire is the B in the ABC Islands between Aruba and Curaçao in the Southern Caribbean. In 1979, the entire fringing reef surrounding Bonaire was designated a protected area, from the high water mark to a depth of 200 feet. Spear guns have been banned here for decades, and it took legislative action to allow their use in taking lionfish from the MPA. Among those protecting the park are Stanapa director, Elsmarie Birkenboom. All the other rules of the marine park said apply. You're not allowed to, to destroy, you're not allowed to, to touch, you're not allowed to do this. So all the other law in, the, in being in the marine park still apply. On the enforcement arm are park rangers like Joy Jenkins, who oversees a cadre of volunteers intent on keeping lionfish numbers low until nature can take over. At the moment, there's no cash reward for catching lionfish. Uh, we have a great group of volunteers that are um, local and uh, off-island volunteers. They come every few months. We give them the equipment. They'll go out there sometimes three, four times a day shooting lionfish. So we don't need any cash reward here. Everybody loves the reef so much that they really want to do something to help. So that's our volunteers.